There are a group of over 450 different conditions known as primary immune deficiency disorders. These are very variable conditions, but they all result in the immune system not functioning correctly. So why is it that this group of 450 different conditions group together? In large part, it's because on their own, they are extremely rare. But when we think of them together, they do have a lot of similarities we realize that they are actually quite common and affect upwards of one in every 1,200 people. What else happens when folks have primary immune deficiency disorders? These folks typically experience increased number or severity or types of infections, but they also very often will experience inappropriate inflammation or autoimmune conditions along with their immune deficiency. This is the really obnoxious thing about the immune system.